My name is Margie and my husband and I live in the picturesque hills of western Pennsylvania. This is the story of how we rescue an iconic neglected dairy barn rich with history and overflowing with possibilities. Hey guys, it is Margie from Reclaim by Ramsey. Guys, we bought a barn. Can you believe it? I can't even believe. Wait till you see the pictures of how big it is and how beautiful it is. And you know, we're all about reclaiming things here at Reclaim by Ramsey. So this has been a journey. And if you want to go on that journey with us, you're going to want to click that subscribe button, you know, do the liking and the sharing and all the things because you're not going to want to miss any of this story because it's pretty doggone interesting. So guys, I'm a city girl, born and raised. I never dreamed I would live on a farm. I never dreamed I'd own a barn. But honestly, my dream starts beyond that. I never even dreamed I'd be here. I should have been dead a couple of times. Let me tell you about what's happened and the fact that even just as shortly ago as three years ago, I thought I would spend the rest of my life laying in a bed, writhing in pain, and yet here I am killing it. So guys, I'm not gonna bore you with all the gory details, but let's just suffice it to say, I got the really bad kind of West Nile in 2003, and I was miserable downright miserable been to every specialist known to man i was never gonna get better couldn't sleep all of that for years years like hello this is 2021 that was 2003 that's a big chunk of my life because you know i am old fast forward and then i got cancer worst thing that could happen right no best thing that ever happened to me it cured the west nile yeah go figure right God is really good. Here I am. My husband and I are living outside of Pittsburgh, where we're from, and we're selling our little tiny cracker box house that we bought after I was sick. And we're looking for a place to live. Well, I'm gonna say it's God. You can say it's coincidence, but I'm gonna give God the credit. I have a booth at an antique place because I started selling furniture that's another story in itself and I was looking for studio space so that we could sell our old house because you know when you paint furniture you have a lot of stuff everywhere a gal there said hey I think I have a place that you guys could buy did you find a house yet I was like, no we haven't found one. we haven't even started she goes you should come and see it it's not even on the market and I thought what's the likelihood that this girl that I hardly know is gonna know what I want. Well, I pulled up to the house and I thought, oh my gosh, this is not my style at all. I'm like the farmhouse girl, you know? I'm like the reclaimed house and this, this house, quite frankly, is ugly. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna be nice. I'm gonna go in and I'll look around and then I'll say it's <coughs> not my style. Except when I opened the door, I can't, I don't know what to tell you guys. It just felt like home. It didn't look like home, but it felt like home. And I knew I could make it the farmhouse that I loved. So long story short, house never went on the market. We got it for way under the value. And we bought the house. Now the junk hunk, that's, I affectionately call my husband the junk hunk. Uh, he wasn't on board. <laughs> he took some convincing and you'll see through the series of these things that he often takes some convincing um, But I usually get my way What can I say he loves me when we came out though to see the house There was this barn that you could see right out my kitchen window, but it wasn't for sale with the, the house and There was you know, it was an estate and it was a different person who was handling that part of the estate and oh, I just would look out and it was so beautiful and you could see the silo and from my kitchen from my kitchen window which you know I'll, I'll stick a picture up here of the whole barn uh, where you can see what I see out my kitchen window and I thought oh it's just so beautiful and my husband was like yeah it's an eyesore we need to we need to buy it so we can tear it down it down what are you insane 
now. He's not insane. He just didn't see my vision. He just, just couldn't put it all together. He saw that, you know, it, the roof was leaking and the silo has no top and the doors are off on the bottom. And oh, did I tell you it's filled with junk? And when I say junk, I mean like a 40 yard dumpster full of junk that we took out of here and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff to the dump and to the place where you do the metal stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. Scrappers, you know, scrappers came. Met with the people and it came up for sale and they had it appraised and it was way out of our price range. Way out of our price range. So here's that God thing again. So we said, well, you know, we can't really afford that. And because, you know, it was, when you have an ongoing illness like that and you have hundreds of thousand dollars in medical bills, your 401k is gone. You don't have any money. So technically, we, this barn should never be mine, folks. Never. I should, this shouldn't be my life, but here I am. So I hope this encourages you. But once the people found out that we didn't want to tear down the barn, that we wanted to save the barn, well, then everything changed. Then, then they were kind of interested in selling it to us because we were going to save the barn. And that's the next part of the story.